The upcoming presidential election may be the most polarizing in U.S. history, but we don't want conversations about it to come between our relationships. And that can easily happen, whether it's in person or through social media. But we have someone here to help us all get along through this. I'm talking about certified business coach Angela Civitella, founder of Intende. Good morning to you, and thanks for joining us. Where do we begin with this? Because people have such differing views. It's, it's, uh, it's can be tough. Good morning, thank you for having me. I'm so happy to be with you today. Uh, yes, it is a very sensitive uh, subject to tackle this year. It's an election year. So particular attention should be brought to how to manage these discussions. So let's start with you know what to do uh, in the workplace. So since whether at work or online, if you're working online remotely, um, it's important probably for company owners and leaders to establish like a company policy as to how to handle uh, such a subject. Perhaps maybe make a blanket statement about what a company's position is on what's going on. Uh, in other words, to avoid any backtalk or um, any unwanted discussions that may arise. That would be a very uh, important first step for leaders to take, uh, so to keep things kind of neutral for everyone. Also, and um, people are so connected these days. Yes. Yeah, so I wanted to ask you, how in the world do you separate your online personal and professional lives? So, great question. So what's important, since a lot of coworkers are now connected with you on social media, and we're so, we become so dependent on communicating with one another online, perhaps maybe sensitive subjects that you may not necessarily know how your coworkers feel about these subjects that you like to discuss openly, maybe revisit your privacy settings on your online, uh, on your social media. So maybe certain subjects, you know, defer to friends and family and coworkers don't get to really engage with you on that. Kind of start to censor a little bit what you say online. So it kind of protects you a little bit. And then I guess sometimes you have to agree to disagree, right? And then other times just don't comment at all. Sometimes if you just keep your mouth shut, it might help things. Isn't that so? I mean, you know, sometimes comments should just be left said and not, it doesn't invite you to engage into reacting to that comment. Just let someone say what they have to say, makes them feel good, and just, you know, go about your business and what it is that you need to do. You don't need to, you know, engage into every comment uh, that you listen to. And do you think it's possible to find some common ground in all of this? There always is some common commonality between us or else we'd be at war all the time in any discussion that we take. So find that nugget, find that common piece of, you know, where you can find a, an area that you can be equal in and in line, in alignment when it comes to how you think about it. And focus on that, focus on what unites us and not what divides us. And I think it could, you know, give you, a, a, a propel you into maybe in the future finding even greater common ground if you start to feel comfortable with one another in being united on certain things. All right. Civitella, it's so great to talk to you this morning. Thanks for these calming thoughts. I really hope it will make a difference in people's lives. I hope so, too. I wish you a blessed day. Thank you. Oh, the same to you. Let's check in with.